idea was to have a project-oriented statistics class that was geared towards solving a real-world scientific problem. Well, ultimately, I think we went from struggling to install a VM, having problem, you know, at the very beginning with VirtualBox, all the way to getting IPython working and actually having this collaborative environment. So I think in that sense, we actually came really far. Um, it was a little bit hectic in the beginning. I think a lot of us weren't really sure what we were supposed to be doing, and it wasn't quite clear. <laughs> all right, redo real quick. No idea how would we how we'd even tackle this problem since like. How are we to predict when the next earthquake would be? We all know that we have a lot of uh, lower magnitude earthquake and higher, otherwise we wouldn't be here. Predicting earthquakes, finding a model that fits better than um, the sort of the basic magnitude dependent alarm model. I think there's a lot of issues with organization and just miscommunication. Um, so in our, in our class we had to form groups. And the first group that we formed was really good because there's only four people in our group and each person had assigned a different role. So that, that, that group was fairly organized. Now they've become educated. They, you know, they've spent 10 years at school being told there's one answer, it's at the back. And don't look. And don't copy, because that's cheating. Try not to cheat. <laughs> I mean, outside schools, that's called collaboration. The, the way that our educational system is set up right now really does focus on the individual, the individual's performance, the individual's ability to either synthesize or regurgitate or something, some corpus of material. Working with people is hard. <laughs> collaboration is very difficult. You know, collaborating with a group of four is difficult enough. Um, with a class of 44 people, it becomes really challenging. Um, except for step 157, I have I've literally no experience about teamwork projects because Berkeley actually focus on individual work. Uh, the collaboration, I think, was the most difficult and yet at the same time the most valuable aspect of the class. And I think Stat 157 actually um, gives those experience throughout the semester. I think my understanding of like how data science and research and the scientific community works has grown to be a lot stronger. I think one of the most valuable lessons I learned was how to collaborate with a group because it's so important. Secondly, we have to recognize that most great learning happens in groups, that collaboration is the stuff of growth. If we atomize people and separate them and judge them separately, we form a kind of disjunction between them and their natural learning environment. And thirdly, it's crucially about the culture of our institutions, the habits of the institution and the habitats that they occupy. Reproducibility is at the core of what science should aspire to, to be and, and should aspire to do. We were willing to go super slowly and make slow progress in our science just to make sure that our work was easy for someone else to kind of pick up. Certain people were a little bit confused in the beginning because that's not what we're used to. We have made quite a bit of progress and it is completely reproducible. So I think the frustration turned into an opportunity to really learn and grow a lot. So the idea is, you know, maybe there's a future class or, you know, random person who finds our GitHub repo uh, and they can just pick up exactly where we left off. Like, I think it's, it's creepy almost, but I think it's going to be great because you know, people can understand what you're doing. Replicate what you're doing. Replicate what you're doing. Replicate what you're doing.
STAT 157 was in a lot of ways an experiment in new tools and new pedagogical methods for a new kind of science. I think uh, tools like Git and GitHub are pretty fantastic um, for writing up research papers, for sharing methods, for developing methods with different collaborators, but I think the usefulness of the tool extends beyond actual primary research. It's a fantastic tool for teaching. Uh, it can be used in classrooms, people can collaborate on material. Um, I think I got to learn a lot of new tools that I would not have been able to learn before. I got a lot of experience with GitHub, which I've never really heard of before, so that was pretty interesting. And I know a lot of um, people actually use GitHub. And I'm seeing that a lot more now, so that was good. The instructor has said from day one that the mark of a good tool is when you can uh, extend it past its original intended use case. And I think that's exactly what we did in this class. And so you can imagine students putting up their assignments, uh, having everybody else in the class uh, offer feedback, but not just uh, feedback through email, but actual uh, inputs going directly into the repository itself. The way we can track what we install and also to share with the world so they can later reproduce the problems. And so it's very easy to parse out who contributed what and actually see the document or project evolve from start to finish. But overall, I think this class have taught me, um, like introduced many new concepts that I have never experienced before. Yeah. You know, this thing that I'm working on is not just this class, like it's bigger than this class. Mm -hmm.